Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos and sometimes tattoo related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you a guide to buying tattoo supplies. I know when I started, I had no idea where to begin. And I want to share with you all the things that I have bought for making a tattoo, how much they cost and what you need to use them for. So basically just an overall guide if you're a beginner and don't know where to start. So first off, you will need a tattoo machine. Now tattoo machines come uh, in two different styles. There are the coil machines or the traditional ones and there are the new ones which are rotary machines. My machine is a Hummingbird Bronx V8. It is a pen style rotary machine. It's not very expensive. So when buying a machine, you need to be careful about the stroke of the machine. The stroke is basically the distance the needle travels in one cycle. So the longer the stroke, the harder it will hit the skin. So if you want to focus on line work or packing black, I recommend you get a machine that has a larger stroke, like 4.5. A 3.5 is okay for soft shading. It works fine for line work as well, but you do have to get used to it a bit. And it's definitely not the best for line work. Or even a coil machine. Most people recommend you start with a coil machine because uh, it hits harder in the skin and it keeps your hand at a good angle for tattooing and you risk lesser mistakes. <laughs> so you will also need a power supply. Mine is also from Bronk. It ranges the voltage from 3 to 18 volts. I usually use it from 6 to about 8 volts. I like this power supply because it's really ergonomical, it's easy to wrap up, it comes with a magnetic support and you can also switch it up with a suction cup support, so depending on how your station is set up, it will work just fine for it. I haven't had any problems with it, so I would recommend it, I'm sure there are better ones out there. Next you will need clip cord, mine is from Big Wasp, it does the job. The, the clip cord is basically how you connect your machine to the power supply. Just make sure it doesn't break and if it does break just replace it because they are not very expensive. You will also need, and this is optional, a foot controller or a pedal switch. Mine is I think a Chinese brand or I don't know. When I bought all my supplies I bought kind of a kit that included most of the things. I don't usually use the pedal just because I like to, to keep my machine running while I work and sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Next you will need tattoo needles. Now tattoo needles have a bunch of different configurations to them. They are basically round liners, round shaders, round magnums and regular straight edge magnums. I bought a couple of different brands. I have from Quadron liners. I have also from Cheyenne which are a bit more expensive. The Cheyenne ones are a bit more expensive because they have this kind of spiral that prevent the ink from spilling out and also a membrane that keeps the ink from going into your machine which is very good for sterile reasons. And I also have some big wasp needles, a round shader and a magnum. The big wasp ones are a bit on the cheaper side but they do the job just fine. I usually use them mostly on my fake skin practices. But there are so many cartridges out there you have plenty of options. I would just recommend you buy the more expensive ones if you're actually tattooing real skin. This is how I keep my, all of my needles. It's just easier for me to find them. If I just mix them up all together, it's harder to find like a seven round liner or whatever. So I just kind of made this small box and added some stickers just so I can find them easier. It's just a tip I would give to you guys. So next you will also need ink. I use Viking by Dynamic Black Dynamite for my black uh, tattoos. I haven't done any colored tattoos on real skin yet, but I'm really looking forward to that. This works fine. I like the fact that it doesn't look green nor blue. It kind of looks just black. The inks you will be buying, I do recommend you buy the more expensive ones and the higher end ones from original brands. I also have a couple of colors from Intense. As I said, I only use them for fake skin practices. I would love to do a color tattoo in the future. But these are the two brands that I have used and I do recommend Dynamic Ink. It's very well known in the tattoo community. And yeah, it, it really is a very true black. Inks should be on the more expensive side. So this is one thing that you should spend your money on. 
You will also need clip cord sleeves just for wrapping up your tattoo machine. Now, depending on the type of tattoo machine you have, these come in different sizes. I bought a set of 125 pieces. They last me for quite a bit. I've used like half of them so far with fake skin practice and tattoos. And yeah, I just like them. They do the job just fine. You will also need gloves, of course. I have uh, black vinyl gloves. They are powder free. The size is S, so make sure you do get some gloves that fit well on your hand. They are not loose and won't hinder your tattoo experience. Of course, you will need some cling wrap. You can buy one from your local supermarket or there are specific uh, ones for tattooing which are bigger. I would recommend those if you have your own salon or if you're working in a salon and you need to buy your own supplies. You will also need grip tape. I buy a couple of these uh, once in a while. One usually lasts me for about 5 to 10 tattoos. They are mainly for uh, minimizing vibration and for you to have a better grip on your tattoo and also to make your uh, machine wrapping process much easier. Not overly expensive, but something that is very important in the tattoo process. Yeah, I will be leaving links to everything I mentioned in this video down below. I also use these tattoo bibs. I use them in my tattoo station or when I want to cover up the clothes of a client. They come in handy at all times. They are just a sterile way to make your station more cleaner and easier to wrap up once you're done. You will also need Vaseline or some sort of glide on butter for use during the tattoo. It makes wiping the tattoo easier. It makes the machine glide on the skin better and yeah it's basically something you absolutely need in your practice there are loads of different options out there vaseline is basically the cheapest one but you can definitely buy uh, butters and stuff that are more expensive if you want i also have these wooden spatulas i use them for uh, getting vaseline out of my container just so i keep it sterile and i don't shove my hands in it uh, also i keep my ink caps on it if I need to move them, that makes it easier. And they are individually packed, so that makes everything much cleaner. For disinfection, you will need some green soap. This green soap can be diluted with distilled water and it lasts you quite a bit. I got the 473 milliliters one and I've had it for quite a while now and I'm halfway done through it. You just need to dilute it with five parts water in this plastic container. Um, these plastic containers will be very helpful, so I do recommend you buy a couple of them. They are easy to clean and they are very useful when you're cleaning the tattoo while you're tattooing with the green soap mixed in with the distilled water. For disinfection of the skin before you actually apply the stencil, you will need some skin disinfectant. I use this one from Desmanol. Uh, it's pretty strong. Um, I know it's intended for surgical use and yeah you want to get the skin really clean before applying the stencil that way it will apply much better. I also use microzid disinfectant. This is for surface cleaning and it's also what I use to disinfect my machine. My machine has a handle that comes off. It's easy to disinfect uh, so I don't need an autoclave for it. Yeah just research what disinfectants you have locally. This is the one um, the tattoo shop I go to uses and this is the one I use as well. You'll also need ink caps. When I got my machine I also got a set of 100 ink caps. Now I do recommend you get the ones that are individually packed and have a foil over them because <laughs> these are not very sterile and yeah, I do recommend you get those. You'll also need tattoo film. I got this from Sorry Mom. It's a bit hard to use or I'm just very stupid, but it's kind of like second skin. It's basically for wrapping up your tattoo once it's done and you can leave it for 24 hours uh, on the skin and then the client will clean the tattoo the next day. But definitely invest into something that you can use on your tattoos once they're done. You'll also need scissors now. You can get any pair of scissors, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that they work fine and you clean them regularly. For stencil application, if you don't have an, a printer, you can buy this spirit stencil paper. You can use it a bunch of times. I've used this so many times as you can see. 
and basically you can outline your stencils and make them manually if you don't have a printer and it's good for practicing at home on thick skin as well it works better on thick skin than actual printer paper for a thick skin practice i use the real skin they have sometimes discounts they are pretty expensive if you ask me a set of five squares is 25.50 dollars but you can use both sides and yeah it's the closest thing you can get basically to real skin i know that frankenskins has something similar and there is one that has a bit of texture to it so th those three i would recommend <laughs> i don't remember the name of the texture one but i will leave it in the link you'll also need some stencil stuff to transfer your stencil onto the skin i use this one from spirit it works fine i don't think it's the best because on fake skin the <laughs> stencil takes years to dry for real skin it works just fine and i usually work pretty fast so that my stencil doesn't go away <laughs> and the last thing and most important thing are lots and lots of paper towels do make sure to use clean ones don't touch them while you're tattooing but you will need a lot of these and make sure you get really high quality ones so you don't uh, irritate the skin so these are all the things i use of course if you have a tattoo shop you will need a lot more things for me these are the things that i personally go with to the tattoo shop and it cost me around 500 dollars to buy all of these things now this is an investment so once you have the machine you're done with that and certain things come in 100 pieces set so consider it just an investment in the beginning and then you just have to buy all the consumables it is quite uh, an expensive price if you do want to get into tattooing and I hope this was helpful to you guys if you don't even know where to start. This is a general guideline of all the things you would need to make a proper tattoo. I know I searched a lot before I started and these types of video helped me a lot. So I thought I would share all the things I use basically on a budget, but not the cheapest things you can buy on Amazon. So let me know in the comments if you find this video helpful and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!